Coaches should not let ball players waste their warm-up time by allowing them to throw for very long without a purpose. Most kids' arms loosen relatively quickly, and once loose, they proceed to lose interest and fail to concentrate on their throwing. The following two drills keep warm-up time exciting and useful as they are a good way to practice throwing accuracy as well as for gaining a better understanding of the game. Having young ball players aim for the receiving player's chest with throws is fine, but as they move up in experience, it is necessary to make throws to different heights. For example, on a relay throw, the target should be head high. On double play throws, chest high. On routine throws to first base, waist high. And with tag plays, knee high. Receiving a double play or relay throws at ankle high hurts players' chances of making plays, just as receiving tag plays throws at head high is not best for getting outs. Additionally, first basemen cannot stretch out as far at higher thrown balls. For that reason, coaches assign a number to each section of the body for this throwing accuracy warm-up drill, with one being the head, two the chest, three the waist, and four the knees. Once players understand what body part is associated with each number, this throwing drill is simple. The receiving player simply flashes a number from 1 to 4, designating where the throw should be made. Over time, players' throwing accuracy improves, as well as their understanding of game situation throws, and that the target for every throw is not the chest, as is often taught. Another good throwing accuracy warm-up drill more well known as players compete against their catch partner. The target for each throw is the receiving player's chest or head. For every throw caught in front of their body between their waist and shoulders, players receive one point, and for each throw caught in front of their face, players receive two points, as that is a smaller target. Receiving players do not move in front of balls for this drill, as any throw that is not directly at the target receives no points. After a catch, where one of the in intended targets is hit, the receiving player flashes a one or two at the throwing player so, th so they know when they receive points and for adding their totals. When one of the players reaches five points, the throwing partners back up a few feet and begin scoring again. Obviously, this competition becomes more difficult the further players are from each other. These throwing accuracy drills are better use of warm-up time, keeping kids more interested, as well as for teaching them that every throw has a purpose. Hope to see you at my baseball coaching site at www.baseballcoachingtips.net for more baseball coaching ideas.